All right, this is part two of um, how to draw our rooms using one point linear perspective. In our other tutorial, we learned to establish the ceiling, the floor, the left wall, and the right wall, in addition to the back wall. Perspective is how you see things in um, relation to where you're standing. So we are going to assume that we are way in the foreground and we're looking straight ahead. This is the vanishing point. And then on that will be where our eye line is. Okay. We are going to draw wooden floors or tile floors. Um, you have to include that in your drawing. You can always throw rugs over it and so forth, but this is a huge part of this assignment because we are drawing um, to the, the vanishing point. So you'll notice these shapes down here. Um, we are going to connect lines from every line that's between these rectangles and we're going to line them up to the dot. Okay. So with that said, let's do this. We're going to go to insert. You already know how to do this line. And we're going to, from every line possible, we're going to draw to the dot. Now this dot's huge. Oh, first of all, before I speak more, make sure that you change the width to either two or three or the thickness of your line, two pixels or three. Um, I'm just going to pick three. Okay. And you just click off of it. Because we've already formatted that line, which means we made it thick, we're going to just click the line segment here and all your formatting should be done so you don't have to keep going back and changing it up. Okay, So I just keep clicking that segment. I'm going to go to every line that's in the rectangle. Now notice that tiles and floor beams or planks of wood, they're going to get tinier and tinier as they go back into space. And that's what I'm looking for. We're creating depth and space. So I'll try to do this as fast as I can. Again, all of these are diagonal. Pretty slick how fast you can do this. If we are doing it with pen and pencil or and paper or whatever, it would take us quite a bit more time. And again, there's going to be some imperfections in these digital drawings because it's not a real drawing program. It's just something on Google Slides that I was playing around with. And I'm like, I think we can draw using that. And we can. So I'm almost done with the diagonal lines. Oops, that one was skinny. So I'll just have to reformat it. All right, so we have two more to go. And then I'll show you how to make horizontal lines. And then you'll have um, a lot of time to work today. All right, so there we go. Click off, and we have perfect angles for our between our tiles or our wood planks. But this looks stupid. We want the back wall to be a wall. Otherwise, it just looks like and these lines are just busting through, you know, a hole in the wall. So we want to get rid of it. The easiest way is basically to go to Insert, and you're going to put a rectangle in there that's the same size as the one that you made before. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see where my cursor is. And I'm going to basically put it slightly on the inside of that line. So you see, it's just on the inside of the lines that we drew in the last part of our segment, or part one of our tutorial. So I don't want the wall gray, because later you're going to be able to um, change up the color a little bit. So we're just going to make it white. So you go to paint can and you just fill with white. Okay. Then you go to the line color and you say white or transparent. And there you go. The last thing is that vanishing point that we copied earlier and cut, it should be in there still, I don't know, in the bank of memory, whatever, memory bank. So I'm just going to try to see if it comes back to the exact spot. So I already cut it once, so I'm going to paste it, Control-V. 
and it didn't go exactly where I wanted, okay? But it's easy to figure out where it should go. Let me go back to view, zoom out, okay? So basically, I'm gonna take this dot, make sure my cursor's on it, and I'm just gonna slowly drag it until it says, yep, it's in the center. There it is. So you have to pay attention to the crosshairs. Well, let's just double check that that vanishing point is indeed in the middle. I'm just going to randomly put in a line from the upper corner to the lower, and it lines up pretty good. Okay, so we have our dot exactly where we need it. The last part of the floor, and I'm not going to draw an entire tile floor, but you'll see that these wood planks, they're totally horizontal, and wooden floors, the planks don't always line up perfectly. Some of my students will just um, do every other one that matches up nice, but I don't care what you do. But these cracks or the space between the tiles have to be perfectly horizontal. If you're going to do a tile floor, well, that's a wooden floor. Why everyone liked wooden floors in this project? Huh. Wait, is this a... Well, I'll be darned. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to do both of them. Okay, so I'm going to go back. And now I am going to take insert line. And we're going to go horizontal. So this time, you want to click the shift key, put the, I'm going to zoom in. Okay, make sure my cursor is directly on the floor line between the wall and the floor, and you know the back tiles are going to be smaller than the foreground. So once you have your cursor where you want, press shift and leave it pressed, or continually press it down. And if you drag, you know it's going to be perfect horizontal, okay? Now, this time I'm going to make my lines a little skinnier. Again, two or three is fine, okay? Click off, and there you are. So now I'm going to go back, and I'm just going to click the line, and I'm going to gradually get thicker or wider as I come out. But for the first set of tiles, I'll just leave them sort of similar, okay? Shift key, click and drag. There you go. Click off. Do it again, although it's same two. One and go back to two. All right. So you just keep doing it and then gradually you get wider and wider and wider. Okay. It's very important to make sure that you're not leaving any gaps because later when you use a program, you can quickly color just like we did in op art. We can color our tiles very fast. I'm going to do one or two more and then we're going to um, do the rest of it like wood floor. Actually, I'm going to do it this way. So pretend that. That's what we want. Two, click off, add a new line. So you get the point. You got to make sure your shift key is pressed. Oops, that's not good because that's too skinny. So I'm going to try it again. And then I'm going to make sure I have more space. So again, as you come forward, more and more space. Probably is still too skinny, but I'll do it. And again, you would change the, the width. I didn't do that the last time. Okay. The other part, I'm leaving blank on purpose because I want to show you what a floor would be. So basically, it's the same concept, but you don't draw it entirely over the, the entire room. So you just go from line to line. Click on, change it to whatever width you want, and then you just pick and choose how you stagger it. Just keep in mind that the wood would get wider as it comes forward. Okay. Oops. Anyway, I think you get the idea. Let's do a few more, and then I'll show you the next tutorial. Okay. I do think that if you want to keep your lines um, thinner, it's perfectly fine. I think two point would be nice. Let's, what was this? Hmm. I'm okay with one as well. If you um, are very careful about not leaving gaps. All right, so there you are. It's not done, but you get the idea. Okay, so here we are getting our room ready.